I'm Emily Moshek, and you're listening to Tuned In to NoCo, Town Square Media's show that lets you know what matters in NoCo. I'm talking today with Cindy Mackin, Justine Bruno, Celeste Smith, and Sean Hawkins about all of the fun holiday events going on in Loveland. So thank you all for coming on and joining me again. It's always great to have you. And I know we were just on Halloween, but I'm so excited to get to Christmas and the holidays in Loveland. Winter Wonderlights is back this year. What do we need to know? Sure. It actually, yes, started last Saturday with our first live night. The light show happens at Chikungu Sculpture Park, which if you're um, not familiar where that's located, um, it is right behind uh, the Macy's at the Promenade Shops at Sentara out there. Uh, there's a great walking path from behind the Macy's or also um, from where the ice rink is located out there. And the ice rink is located um, and you can walk right to it as well. And it opened also. So we, we kind of kicked off the holidays a little bit early just to kind of get people excited about that. And um We do have four live nights. The light show itself has over 100,000 lights, and it has a choreographed light show that goes nightly from 5 to 9 p.m. And um, there is not a a cost to go into the light show, but we do ask um, in lieu of that that people bring a non-perishable food item as there are food bins at all of the entrances and all of the food that is collected will go to the food bank of Larimer County. Well, that is great to hear that it's not only a gorgeous light show to see, but that it's also for a great cause. And I know we have another scavenger hunt, the hunt for the holiday gnome. What's going on this year? So um, um, similar to last year, it's going to be on the Event Z app as well. And it really kind of aligns and ties in with the Loveland Light Trail and that map, um, both of which will launch um, on the 20th as well. So the 20th is a big day uh, for us. We have our second live night at Winter Wonder Lights where we'll have Santa House and we'll have live reindeer and great performances. But also that uh, that same night, Winter um, Wonder Lights live night will also be the gnome scavenger hunt, hunt for the holiday gnome where people can go around, see all the different lighting installations and, um, and then also look for the gnomes. They find them, they interact with them in different ways, whether it's scanning QR codes or solving a puzzle or taking a picture or a video with the gnomes. And then they get to turn in their completed badge at the end and they win um, a prize instantly of a free Chick-fil-A breakfast entree. And then they get uh, put into a greater prize drawings. And we have four amazing different grand prizes from overnight stays to Loveland laser tag packages, the flip side donated, um, a great package in downtown, uh, Betta Gumbo, uh, Origins, all of these great restaurants and shops, uh, donated gift certificates. So it's just a great way to go around Loveland, see all the different lights and all the different public lighting displays and play a fun game and win prizes. So it's a, it's a win, win, win. Yes. And speaking of going around and seeing the lights, I know, Sean, you said you're getting ready for the downtown lights in Loveland. Can you tell me a little bit about that? What's going on downtown for the holidays? All the lights we hang on 4th Street. And then this year we're adding some lighting for the first time to the Fountain Plaza area. So it just pre- creates a really great walking environment. And we actually keep these lights up uh, until past Valentine's Day. So it really adds a I don't know, a festive touch in the time of, uh, of our darkest days of, uh, here in, in the winter. And so, you know, it's just great to come down and enjoy dinner or a show at the Rialto. The Rialto is just doing a bunch of holiday movies this year and some other live performances. And then there's live music in places like Black and Blues, Music and Brews, and the Gressy Wick Event Center. Um, and so it's just a very welcoming, to me, very down-home environment that we've created uh, a couple of, of events I would tell you about is that the Saturday after Thanksgiving uh, is Shop Local Saturday. Uh, it's always a big day for our, our local merchants. And this year we will have our, what we do is on our night on the town events is have the Valentine Flea. And so the Valentine Flea is basically a lot of local artists set up small booths and sell a bunch of uh, holiday activities. And so that's the day, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. 
uh, from 10 to 2. And then the next day, the Sunday after Thanksgiving, uh, from 10 to 2, we will have a bunch of local artists setting up as well in our pocket park at 4th and Lincoln, selling a lot of locally made things for your sweetheart or your friend or your coworker, whoever it might be. And then the other big one that we're doing this year, we, we started something a couple years ago with our friends at Sweetheart City Racing called a Flannel Fest. And basically it's a bar hop. It's a chance to go to five or six different bars over the course of a day and get a group of friends together. And so I know people are looking for fun ways to get together with your friends and celebrate. So if you went to sweetheartcityracing.com, you could pick up a ticket to our Flannel Fest uh, on Saturday, December 4th. And it's just a fun way to, I don't know, get out and make a little noise and try some beverages and, and enjoy your downtown. And so those are the big events we have here in downtown in the Christmas season. But the lights are up every night, so you could come down any night and just take a stroll and and get in a good mood. That's what it does to me. Yeah, that sounds like so much fun stuff going on, and I can't wait to see the downtown lights. But along with the downtown lights, I know we also have the Loveland Light Trail. What's going on there? Sure. Um, there's about nine different public lighting displays throughout the city. And we wanted to make it easy for people who are coming to town or having visiting friends and relatives to, you know, navigate all the different places um, around the city that will be lit up. We wanted to create this Loveland Light Trail map to let people know all of the different public displays that there are. It, it helps people kind of navigate Loveland. And we also tied in with the Hunt for the Holiday Gnomes and in placing those near all of these public lighting of displays. So that Loveland Light Trail and the Holiday Gnome maps will be available um, at the Visitor Center, we're also going to be handing them out at the Downtown Festival of Lights. They're available all, at all the hotels, um, but you can pick one up or download it online at visitloveland.com. So when you have those relatives that are coming in for the holidays, we're going to help you find all the different lighting displays in town. Now, along with the Loveland Light Trail, I know we also have the Lagoon Lights in Loveland Justine, can you tell me about those? Yes, absolutely. So uh, it is sponsored by the Winter Holiday Council, which is a 501c3 nonprofit. They have been offering free community holiday displays since the late 80s in Loveland. Uh, so this group is run entirely by volunteers who are just committed to spreading holiday cheer all throughout Loveland. Uh, they help light the Namaqua Star. They also provide uh, decorations and lights along uh, South Shore Lake. Uh, and then obviously the Lagoon event, uh, uh, which is at uh, the Foot Lagoon and, and centers around there at Civic Center Plaza, which is at 500 East 3rd Street in Loveland. And what makes this display really unique is there are uh, local Loveland artists that create uh, different and, and new uh, holiday displays for the public to enjoy every year. So we pull in some of the displays from the prior years and then they create something brand new. And so we will see uh, at least four different artists uh, featured this year uh, with original installations around the Foot Lagoon. Lagoon, and they will be up uh, through early January for people to come by and view. There's also a lot of other lighting that's been uh, offered around the lagoon, so it makes a really great scenic tour. And then we also partner with our public library uh, to provide a story walk experience. So we have candy cane light poles around the entire lagoon, and those uh, those stories. It's a, it's a child's uh, children's story uh, that's featured there, and for families and and kids to enjoy as they take in the scenes of the lagoon and, and read a holiday themed story and really just enjoy the atmosphere uh, that's offered there. That is awesome. I love that it's so family friendly. And then now Celeste, I know we also have a lot of stuff going on at Centera, Santa's workshop, the breakfast, the ice rink, the winter walk. What's going on? What do we need to know? We sure do. We have so much happening in Loveland and uh, going out to the east side. We've got the ice rink at the promenade shops that is open and activated. Uh, runs November 12th through the 2nd, open daily Monday, or Monday through Sunday. Uh, there's also going to be a special skate with Santa on Thursday, December 9th and December 16th from 4 to 7. Uh, skating uh, tickets can be reserved online and range from 850 to 1050 and details can be found at the ice rink at the shops.com. Promenade Shops is also going to be hosting their breakfast with Santa 
Tickets for that will go on sale on Monday, November 22nd at 8 a.m. And just a reminder that tickets do have to be purchased in advance, cash only, uh, at the management office. And it'll be hosted at On the Border. And we're also excited to be partnering with Harrington Arts Alliance, continuing their holiday fun, going from their haunted house, now uh, transitioning over to a Christmas walk, which will be hosted at the Promenade Shops again. It's located uh, in between build bear and Eddie Bauer. So a uh, community can enjoy an experience of an indoor holiday, immersive holiday walk, weaving in and out of some of your favorite holiday classics, a great uh, production, like I said, put on by Harrington Arts and uh, tickets range from 10 to $15, all to benefit this, this great non nonprofit. And those dates are December 10th, running all the way to the 23rd. Uh, in the beginning, it'll be weekends only. And then as we get closer to Christmas, uh, they'll have both uh, weekday and weekend dates. So go to the promenade shops at centera.com to check out those details. And then lastly, we are excited to bring back Santa's workshop at Centera. That's an annual uh, signature event. And this year we are excited to transition that over to uh, Chapungu Sculpture Bar Park and take it outdoors. It is going to take place on December 4th, the 11th and 18th. Those are all Saturdays from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Chapungu Sculpture Park, which is located on the uh, backside of Macy's. And what will be great about that is you can come enjoy the workshop and then roll right into Winter Wonder Lights uh, when the lights kick off. This event is free outdoor, uh, but tickets to have your professional photo taken with Santa will be required in, in the special Santa house. And those um, ticket reservations will be available via um, centera.com, uh, the Eventbrite site, uh, starting uh, November 22nd. We'll also have free on-site crafts, cookie decorating, and holiday selfie options that uh, will, those will be all open to the public, but um, tickets to uh, be able to visit with Santa will, will need to be reserved. So in addition to all these great holiday events, shop local, purchase local gift cards. Those are a great gift as well. And don't forget to support all the great uh, lovely retail and dining establishments at the Marketplace at Centera, the Promenade Shops at Centera, downtown Loveland, and all around our great city. Yes, I love that message of shopping local. Thank you, Celeste. And along with the Harrington's walk, I know there's also a Christmas walk in the woods. What's going on with that? Yes, on the west side of Loveland in the Savage Woods, uh, the same people who put on Creepy Walk in the Woods transition over to Christmas Walk in the Woods. And that will be starting December 11th through January 2nd. You can reserve tickets for that. I think it goes nightly from 5 to 9 p.m. at christmaswalkinthewoods.com. Um, and another great website to go to for all the different events would be our website, visitloveland.com, where we have daily event listings of everything that's going on. Great. Well, thank you all so much for taking the time to come and chat with me today. It's always great to have you on. And I know our listeners love to hear about everything going on in Loveland. Is there anything else we missed or anything else you'd like listeners to know? Get out there. It's time for the holidays. <laughs> I would say educate yourselves as to what's going on, because when you have those visiting friends and relatives, um, you want to know what to do with them. And there's so many different things happening just in their own backyard. So I would, you know, encourage you to make a plan for when your relatives come into town. Again, that was Cindy Mackin, Justine Bruno, Celeste Smith, and Sean Hawkins talking about all of the holiday events going on in Loveland. Learn more at visitlovelandco.org.